Mercy, I want to thank you, Father, for all the blessings that we have living in the country we're in. Father, we, uh, we pray, Father, for the election, that it'll go well. Uh, pray, Father, that our country will continue to, to be the great country that we live in today. Uh, pray, Father, that you'll be with us this morning as we make decisions for the county. Uh, be, be with each one of us as we go through our lives. I ask all these things in Jesus' name. Amen. 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 I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. Honor of the Texas flag, I pledge allegiance to thee, Texas, one state under God, one and indivisible. And I hope you want to accept. I was just okay. fixing to say, uh, and I just wanted to say that uh, Steve Aldridge is, I think he's on Zoom this morning, but he is on uh, the call this morning. So he will be able to, uh, I think we're still on the same rules with the, the uh, declared disaster that he can actually vote and participate in the meeting. Uh, second item on the agenda is call for citizens input and our concerns. And I think we've got, I don't see any Papers, but do we have somebody that wanted to speak this morning? You want to come up to the front? Come and give us your name and uh... thank you. Uh, my name is Mike Logan. I'm a citizen here in Brazos County, and I'm also a, a proprietor of Grand Station Entertainment here in town. And uh, thank you for the opportunity to come in and speak. What I'd like to say is that, uh, you know, my wife and I and my family, we came to Grand, or actually came to College Station back in, I guess, 2007. We built up our business. Uh, at, I think when this pandemic hit in 20, back in uh, February, I think we worked over 100 employees. But when that thing hit, we went down to 15. We tried to manage as much as we could. Like everybody, I'm not saying anything that no one else hasn't gone through. Uh, and so we have slowly built back up you know, using the protocols and, and the guidelines that are being given to us to be able to, to maintain our business. And even through all that, the best we can get right now was probably 50, 55% of revenue from what we did last year at this time. Uh, we do, uh, I'm very proud of our team and our business. We, we run a really uh, family-oriented facility. We're clean. We, we buy all the electrostatic <coughs> Uh, systems to go in there and kill the COVID germs. We wipe down, we have sanitizing systems throughout the whole facility. Uh, I, I'm very proud of the job that our staff does. We do a really good job. In saying that, at this point, we, it's like we're just stuck in the mud. We can't go any further. Uh, Saturday nights, for instance, we'll come in there and even though we're at 50% occupancy, which I think bowling was excluded from the restaurants because we still have to maintain a 50%. Even at that, we have 470 people in our facility, uh, and we'll have people coming in waiting to bowl, and it takes them an hour, hour and a half of worth of waiting. And it's like we have 20 lanes that we have to keep dark because that's the protocols that we have. And it just, it just makes no sense to me. When I go into a grocery store, if I go into Lowe's, and people are almost on top of each other, and I'm not, and I, and I know I'm preaching to the choir when I'm talking about this, but this is basically what we're up against. And it's like, <clears throat> surely we get some relief. You know, we, you know, my son Scott and I, we, we do as many things we possibly can to, to, to stay within the guidelines. We're not going to go rogue. We don't want to go off there and have the state come in or the city come in and, and slap us on the wrist for doing <clears throat> things wrong. We're trying to do the best we can do. What I'm asking is that there's any way that we can open up the, this thing. Uh, most of the people that come to our, to our facility are not scared of this virus. They come out knowing full well that there, there is a risk in just about anything we do in life. So I'm going, okay, why, why are we having, I mean, I feel like we're operating with one hand tied behind our back. And it's like, we, why can't we just let it, let it get it out there? Uh, I, I don't see an issue, like I said, the people, you know, we're, we're missing a lot of the people inside the town because a lot of people are scared still. And, and for good reason, I understand that. We can't make those people come out to our facility. But the ones that do make the decision to go out at night, to go to a bar or go to a restaurant or go to our place, 
they know they're taking a risk. You know, we have protocols. You have to wear a mask inside our facility. Uh, with the blessing of the city of College Station, which we appreciate it, they've allowed us to at least, when they bowl, to take their mask off. So, and, and to my knowledge up to this point, I'm not going to wood, I don't know if we have anybody that's come in and said, hey, Grand Station's a hot spot for, for coronavirus. I haven't heard anything to that. I'm, I'm not going to wood when I say that because I don't know that. But to this point, we've been, uh, I, I think we've done a, a, a very good job at that. Anyway, in closing, I, like I said, I appreciate the opportunity to come out and explain our position, and I'm sure it's no different than any other business owner in this, in this town. But please take into consideration as you guys make any type of guidelines or any uh, policies in this, please take into consideration some of the small business owners. Like I said, we're up to 55 employees. When we're, we were cooking, we were employing over 100 employees. And so we've had some, <laughs> some layoffs. We've had to downsize. Uh, we're doing the best we can do, and we sure would like to get back up there. So, anyway, I, I thank you for the opportunity to say anything. You have any questions for me? Well, and, and we're not supposed to respond. We can respond with facts, and that's all that we can respond sure. in, in the public because it wasn't a post meeting. Uh, <clears throat> man, the fact is, the go those were governor rules, right. and he didn't give the counties, I think, or the cities really the relief way to say, okay, in, in y'all's instance anyway, that. Uh, you can open open it up to a bigger number anything that I'm aware of uh, the this bar deal he did give the county judge the authority to be able to do that so it the, the fact is in that one I I did what I felt like was the right thing to do but he hasn't given counties our cities I don't believe any leeway about those are his orders whatever he's ordered for the bowling alleys and stuff i don't think we've got any leeway with it if if, if, if well, there's anybody aware of it i'd like to know it but i we, we're not supposed to have a conversation other than with facts that's what i just wanted you to know is that the governor put those orders down and um okay I, and i appreciate that can i got to say one more thing sure uh with saying that, we're, we are always looking for different types of mousetraps. We're always trying to figure out different sure. ways that sure. we can <clears throat> make our place more safe and, and more secure and, and, and uh, environmental free from all these viruses. We are in the process right now of uh, hanging uh, shower curtains, okay, of all things, because the virus doesn't go through shower curtains. And if we could run that in between every lane, which gives that, that separation, kind of like what restaurants were doing when they're putting those, uh, those uh, plastic partitions in between booths. Like if a booth was here, they put a partition, they put one over here, allow somebody to sit there and sit here. If we do the same thing, now is that a case-by-case -case scenario? And you don't have to answer this question, but, but where, where would I go to get permission to say, hey, you know what, that's a, that's a, that's a great idea. I, I think that would work, Mike. We, you can go back and use all 40 of your lanes. Who would I talk to, and who do I have to convince that this is a good thing? I believe it would be somebody in the governor's office. I, I, uh, I'll certainly do my best to find out, but I'm not aware of anything that, that a county judge or commissioner's court or even the, the mayor or council can make. I mean, it sounds reasonable to me, but. And we're not, we shouldn't be having really a discussion about it. I can state facts, no. but I, I, I don't want to get in too deep into this thing. Because no, and, and I understand that, and I, and I appreciate your position. <laughs> All I can say is that the state of Texas is a pretty big state. I know. Okay. I know. And there's lots of my facilities like this all over the state. And I can tell you that what I'm proposing to do is being done in other parts of the state. Okay. Now, the governor didn't come in and dictate that. I mean, so I'm just wondering, is it a county by county decision on some of these things? If someone comes in and makes a reasonable argument, are you guys going to say, hey, you know what, that is? A, that's a, that, I have no problem with that whatsoever. I'm just wondering, is there, is there an authority here in this community that can make that decision? Even, or in College Station, is that something? You don't have to answer the question, but is this something that the, that the, the council and city College Station can determine whether or not we are? doing what we're supposed to do to help support uh, the Well, I'm going to try to stick with facts because we're not supposed to be having a discussion. Okay. All right.
Okay. All right. Uh, okay. It, you, and we'll talk later? Okay. All right. Well, thank you very much. Okay. I appreciate thank the time. Want, yeah. Thank you for coming in. Somebody else want to come speak? Any other citizen input? Okay. Uh, hearing none, we will move on to <coughs> agenda items three through 24. Number three is approval of the following job descriptions. Uh, administrative assistant, district attorney, class code B0423, and supervisor, dispatch, okay. sheriff's Move admin. approval A and B. Second. Motion made and seconded to approve A and B. Discussion. All in favor say aye. 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 Opposed? None. Motion carries. Uh, number four is request from Fleet Services for acceptance of a $9,000 donation from Glenn Gagas uh, with Ford Motor Company for the long delay in ob obtaining Ford interceptors. Mm -hmm. Second. Uh, motion made and seconded. Discussion. All in favor say aye. 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 Opposed? Aye. Opposed? None. Motion carries. Uh, five is acceptance of donated unclaimed property left by inmates leaving Brazos County Jail. Move approval. Second. Yeah. Motion made and seconded. Discussion. <clears throat> All in favor say aye. 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 Opposed? None. Motion carries. Number six is request for <clears throat> risk management for approval of signature authorization to report and electronically sign reporting data in the Texas Commission of Environmental Quality Steers account for Tier 2 uh, requirements. Move approval. Second. Motion made and seconded. Discussion? All in favor say aye. 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 Opposed? Non motion carries. <clears throat> Number seven is approval of assignment of vendor name change from Jet Pay Payment Services to NCR Payment Solutions. Move approval. Second. Motion made second to discussion. All in favor say aye. 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 Opposed? Non motion carries. Number eight is approval of risk management uniform policy. Move, Move approval. Second. Motion made second to discussion. All in favor say aye. 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 Opposed? None motion carries. <clears throat> number nine is approval of change order number three for contract CIP 20 635 Rye Loop uh, Road Culvert Reconstruction for a reduction of contract price to remove the unused items. Change order reduces the contract by $451.10. New, co <clears throat> new contract price will be $118,050. Approval. Second. Most made second. Discussion. All in favor say aye. 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 Opposed? None motion carries. Number 10 is approval of amendment IQ 21-008 pest control services with All Star Pest Control to add additional locations. Move approval. Second. Motion made second. Discussion. All in favor say aye. 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 Opposed? None motion carries. Uh, number 11, we need to remove from the agenda. If I could get a motion to uh, do that. Move to uh, remove item 11 from the agenda. Second. Second. Motion made and seconded to remove number 11 from the agenda. Discussion. All in favor say aye. 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 Opposed? Aye. Opposed? <coughs> None motion carries. Number 12 is approval of extension contract for 20-072R for inmate telephone services with NCIC. Move approval. Second. Motion made and seconded. Discussion. All in favor say aye. 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 Opposed? None. Motion carries. Number 13 is amendment to contract 20-131R for solid waste hauling, recycling, and citizen collection site trash pickup. Move approval. Second. Motion made and seconded. Discussion. All in favor say aye. 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 Opposed? Aye. None. Motion carries. Number 14 is approval of a contract renewal with Rite, Passage, Rite of Passage, Inc. for juvenile res residential services. Move approval. Second. Motion made and seconded. Discussion. All in favor say aye. 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 Opposed? None. Motion carries. Number 15 is approval of contract renewal with Rite of Passage, Inc. for juvenile detention services. Move approval. Second. Motion made and seconded. Discussion. All in favor say aye. 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 Opposed? <coughs> None motion carries. Number 16 is approval of contract with Coryell County for juvenile pre-adjudication detention services. Move, Move approval. Second. 
Motion made seconded discussion. All in favor say aye. 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 Opposed? Uh, motion carries. Number 17 is approval of contract with Grimes County for juvenile, psychological, and psychosexual assessments. Move approval. Second. Second. Motion made seconded discussion. All in favor say aye. 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 Opposed? None motion carries. Number 18 is request from budget office to rescind budget amendment FY 2021 number 1.1 that was approved on October the 6th, 2020, agenda item 17A. Move for approval. Second. Motion made second. Discussion. All in favor say aye. 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 Opposed? On motion carries. Number 19 is approval of 2020 Brass County Tax Roll per section 26.09E of the Texas Property Tax Code. Move approval. Second. Motion made and seconded. Discussion. All in favor say aye. 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 Opposed? <clears throat> None motion carries. Number 20 is tax refund application for the following. Move approval. A, B, C. Second. Motion made seconded. Discussion. All in favor say aye. 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 Opposed? None motion carries. Number 21 is Commissioner's Court minutes for the following dates. Move approval A through I. Second. Motion made seconded. Discussion. All in favor say aye. 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 Opposed? None motion carries. Number 22 is budget amendments. Budget amendments FY 20 slash 21. 2.1 through 2.6. Move for approval. Second. Motion made seconded. Discussion. All in favor say aye. 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 Opposed? None motion carries. Number 23 is personnel change status. Move for approval. Second. Motion made seconded. Discussion. All in favor say aye. 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 Opposed? My motion carries. Number 24 is claim to claims. Claim to be paid by Brazos County. Claim number 8103347 through 8103530. And claim number 9000667 through claim number 9000729. Move approval. Second. Second. Motion made and seconded. Discussion. All in favor say aye. 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 Opposed? None motion carries. <clears throat> Number 25 is acknowledgement of TxDOT County Transportation Infrastructure Fund grant to proceed with dis, uh, construction. <clears throat> Move for approval. No, or not acknowledgement. Excuse me. I think that's uh, acknowledgement. Yeah, an acknowledgement. Mm -hmm. No need. No need. So, and then number 26 is uh, juvenile director's report on detention population. And Linda's not here, but she sent a report. There are 14 juveniles in detention. 10 males, 4 females. There are 3 juveniles in isolation as they are new intakes and there's 32 youth on electronic monitors. Uh, number 27, Sheriff's Report on Inmate Population. Sheriff, good to see you getting around. <laughs> Judge, Commissioners, good morning. Got a head start on it there. Uh, it's good to see you all. Good to see, see, see you moving around finally. Um, <clears throat> our jail population is 563. That's 507 males, uh, 56 females. We have 39 that are uh, electronically monitored and five are pending. <clears throat> For the COVID report, we have uh, two inmates that are po tested positive recently. Mm. Uh, we have 62 inmates that are quarantined. Uh, and on our employee count, we have two positive and two quarantines. Okay. All right. Yeah, was, that virus is still with us. Yeah. Chair, I, I would like to say it is a pleasure to see you back. We've been, you've been in our prayers, but you will always remain the high chair. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you, ma'am. <laughs> Thanks, sure. Uh, number 28 is announcement of interest items and possible future agenda topics, and Barbara's going to give us the update that uh, we 
just about last week, I think. He's taller than I am. Uh, good morning. I'm, I, Commissioner Barry had asked for an update on what I've been calling Brazos County 101. If we want a different name for it, I'm open to that too. Um, basically a community citizens class that would offer education on the different roles and opportunities um, here in the county and the different offices and what they do. Uh, in talking to the PIO at Comal County and using their setup that they already have and not having to reinvent the wheel, uh, it looks like it's going to be about an eight week long program, uh, meeting one night a week, about two hours in length each night. Um, and then as far as when we start this, I'm going to kind of leave that up to all of you. I know that in, in watching our COVID numbers and trying to determine, do we want to assemble a class? Do we not want to assemble a class? So we're, we're ready to start making the motions whenever you all are ready to do that. Um, and we'll just kind of go from there. Uh, the different topics that we have, uh, we'll have commissioner's court, uh, elections, sheriff's office, constables, emergency management, health district, purchasing, juvenile services, county courts at law, tax office, budget, road and bridge, district courts, justices of the peace, district clerk, county clerk, collections, veteran services, county attorney, and district attorney. And I know that the sheriff's office and the district attorney's office both have their own classes. Okay. They're going to use this as an opportunity to do a little added sales pitch for their classes as right. well. So right. do a little cross training on that. Good. I told you it was going to be short and sweet. Any questions? <laughs> So I guess you, you got a positive response from most of the uh, uh, what the department is for elected officials. Ev everybody that I just rattled off has said that they are on board and willing to do it. Okay. So yeah. okay. that's that's kind of that's kind of how the topics lined up. I sent out a mass email, and those who responded, okay, they got they got to be on the list. Mm -hmm. Good. All right. So, like I said, we're ready. We're ready to kind of get moving. Just waiting, waiting on COVID. Okay. All right. Sounds good. Thank, Thank you. Um, yes, ma'am. Judge. Question. Why, while we have Barbara Ford, I'd like to um, congratulate her and salute her for following through with a idea I submitted some time ago. We are posting, if you come in the entryway, we're posting um, pictures and short stories of people that have grown up here in Brazos, uh, we say Brazos Valley, but it's the old Brazos County. So uh, please uh, take time and uh, review it. I know um, I noticed that some things are still being added. Uh, and adjust it. So bear with us. Hopefully we'll have it all done by the end of the week. But I salute you and I thank you for uh, now sharing I, that part of our heritage. It's very important that we're inclusive. Now um, I, I appreciate you, you bringing the idea to me. It's been great working with Wayne over at the African American Museum and he's <clears throat> getting that all set up and, and ready to go out there. Uh, we, we just as a little backstory, we started all of this about two weeks before everything shut down with COVID. So uh, it would have probably been up a long time ago, just like everything else. It's but okay. we're getting there. Well, you're good now, and we thank you. Yes, ma'am. Absolutely. Thank you. Okay. Thank you. Any other announcement of interest items or possible future agenda topics? Early voting started. And I am so happy to say I got a call about 8 o'clock and there was a line out there. Um, my own uh, son called me about 8.45 to say he's still standing in line. So I want to thank you all, all of Brazos Valley. We really need to get the votes out. Thank you. And don't forget to go all the way down the ballot to get to the local elections. Yes. There's a school board proposal. City council, county commissioners. Yes. And I'm not on it, thank God. <laughs> <laughs> Those are the kind you like to have. Oh, I love it. <laughs> 
All right. Uh, one announcement. Okay, go ahead, Joe. Just especially with you guys that came out today and all that are watching, we're, we're citizens of Brazos County. Yes. We're just elected. We're, we're very well aware of how our friends and family members, even some of us that have businesses, are going through hell yes. right now. And it's not just Brazos County, it's the country. I just want to tell you, hang in there. Hang in there. We're, we're praying. All of us are praying. Let's all pray together. Support mm -hmm. each other. Let's buy local. Yes. Leave Amazon for another day. Let's uh, eat local. If you're going out. I don't yes. know too many restaurants that haven't reinvented themselves 17 different ways mm -hmm. to try to give you food to go or pick up to cater. Um, the bars. I, you know, I'm a good Catholic boy. I can't understand it. Uh, I'd lo I'd love to see. <clears throat> I'd love to see the bars open up all the way. Uh, it bothers me when I go to mass and the pews are every other pew and yet and the grocery stores are full when you go into Lowe's it looks like business as usual but but some of our businesses just haven't had that yet and I share that frustration I think I can speak for everyone here that we share that frustration so hang in there we're yeah. gonna get through this together and anything that we can do on a county level is and when we find out a way that we can do it on a county level yes by God I'm sure that you'll have probably five commissioners tripping over themselves to do it and do it right where we're not opening the county up for any liabilities or anything jumping too quick but um you're, you're heard you're always welcome to come yes. you're always welcome to run for office Please. love to see more business Please. owners in office absolutely don't shake your head at me much um, <laughs> but, I have but but I, we, we I just couldn't let the meeting end without letting you know we hear you and yes. we share the angst and the concern and we're gonna do everything we can to get Brazos County through this Ditto. But, but we sure salute you and your efforts. Ditto. I am the proud grandmother and great grandmother of uh, several constituents that love your facility and can't wait to have parents' approval to to join you. They'll probably uh, bring Gigi too. So uh, we can't wait. It's just a sign of the times. I know. Mike, I've got an immunosuppressed child right now. She's on yes. immunosuppressive therapy, and I have no problem taking her over there. Y'all are doing a great job. The place is clean. Yeah. We're there. We're there a lot. Keep up the great work. And, and yeah, I think that you're just the, the face of many businesses doing everything they can mm -hmm. to just do. I mean, gosh, I was at Shipwreck the other day having lunch and just watching all they're going through to keep that place open and running. Mm -hmm. And there's restaurants and businesses all over town doing it. I just exactly. I just couldn't let the meeting go without just saluting you guys and saying, hang in there. We hear you. Yes. We hear you. Yes, indeed. Okay. Uh, any call for citizen input or, and or concerns? I want to, um, Jason, before yeah. Jason um, steps up and uh, Michelle is here, that free testing um, project that we um, assisted with was a great success. And um, surprisingly, the numbers are there to, to support that we need to do more of this. And Punch Gonzalez informed me that he would like for us to do more. So I will continue to work with Michelle and Jason and I salute you guys because you all were just wonderful to work with. I think a lot of the citizens benefited enormously from the project. And I am getting calls asking, where can I go today? So let's continue this and thank you all so very much. Thank you, Commissioner. Thank you. Judge Commissioners, just wanted to put it on your radar. We're starting to dry out again. It's getting really dry. Mm -hmm. um, our volunteer departments are, are very active uh, uh, once again, uh, mostly due to um, preparing hay pastures and, and whatnot. Um, on the high side, our KBDI is well over 600. Um, our county average is pushing about 520-ish. Um, so you're going to start seeing weekly reports from me, uh, just kind of keeping you apprised on the uh, on the fire report, fire weather right now. Yes. Thank you. Okay. Oh, Thank you. Thank you, Jason. Any citizen input and or concern? Hearing none, we'll adjourn. Thank y'all for coming. Thanks for including me. Yeah. <laughs> hey, Steve, get better, buddy. Yeah. yeah. Thank you. We're 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 good. I'll be back with you guys just uh, before you know it. Looking That's forward to fun. it. That's fine. We miss you.
Thank you, likewise. I'm not saying I miss you, I'm just saying get better. <laughs> <laughs> one and the same, my friend. One and the same. <laughs>